Hello everyone and welcome back to Played Up. The 0 0.18 patch just was released a few hours ago and the, one of the new big items that I've been asking about for weeks and for months maybe even is a combiner. And you say, well, it looks like an autoplater and it does. And it works similar to an autoplater except you can place anything in it, not just plates. And I'm gonna show you a setup with burgers. A simple setup to start with and then show you how you can start implementing these auto combiners or these combiners, not auto combiners, combiners to make a fully automated burger setup. Now, the caveat here is this burger setup with, with not fresh patties, just the frozen ones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a few practice runs, various steps of how this works. We're gonna go from there. Now you may say, well, this looks like a basic, your basic setup and it is. Once you get a little bit, of, ignore the stuff that's down here at the moment. So for the basic setup, you're gonna basically, you're gonna end up with having this. You're gonna have your typical setup for burgers is you're gonna have your burger, your your fridge, you're gonna have your belt, and you're gonna go to a um, a safety hob. That way nothing burns, then you can grab your bun, you can grab your plate, and then you can plate it and then you can serve it, right? But I like to take it a step further and you can say, well, how could you do that? Well, you can now combine the buns onto this. And I'm gonna demonstrate what that looks like right now. Just watch, watch what happens. When this cooks and it finishes, and then boom, burger bun. You can grab it with the plate, boom, because it, it's instant. Boom, another one. Another one. And you see how easy this can be? You have your plates, you have your sink, however you set it up. And this configuration can go anyway. It, you could have it going this way. You could have that, the, the burgers going, you could have everything going up and down like this. It doesn't really matter. There's, there's options are endless. But you may say to yourself, is there anything better that you can do? And the answer is, of course there is. Let me show you. Now this here, you, this setup, you could actually use the safety hob but there really is no need to use a safety hob. You could use the regular hob or you could even use a danger hob. And I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like. And this is gonna be your full automation. And I'm gonna do a run, I'll do a day. I'm at day 12 in one of my trial games. I'll, show, I'll, I'll do a day here and show you um, a bit how that, what that looks like. So what you're gonna do here is not much of this is gonna actually change, except you're gonna swap these out. The buns are gonna go here. This is going to go here, and the way these auto platers or these uh, combiners work is there. You can place them anywhere you want, and it'll still it'll push it the direction of the arrows. And we're going to put the safety hob here just to show you how the safety hob will work. And you can take your plates, which I mean in this demonstration it's not going to work because the sinks are over here, but nonetheless you're going to have that, and you're going to have another plate like that, and that looks pretty good, doesn't it? And you say, well, does that actually work? Well, the answer is yes, because a combiner will hold this item until this item is ready, which means it has to finish cooking. The plate will be held until this is finished cooking. So it's instantaneous how both of these will combine onto this right away. But in the previous little practice mode we did is we grabbed the plate and we put the plate right here, even though the combiner and the belt over there were still there. So let's run a simple scenario on this one. I'll show you exactly what this does. This to me changes the way that Burgers can be done. Watch this. Just watch. Just watch. Instant plate of burger. Instant plate of burger. Now you may say to yourself, well, how does it work with not using a safety hob? Because when there's a plate on this or when there's a bun, it stops cooking. Well, you know what? Let me show you how that works. For this demonstration, I don't have a danger hob, so we're going to use a regular hob. This third combiner is irrelevant down here. It, it's not used for anything here. Now, it can be used for something else down the line, potentially for when you start doing pies, or you can, you can, buy, you can combine lots of things. You can, you, because you can also combine things somewhat like this, but not necessarily. If you have a counter like this, you can combine that way, right? Same difference. Now you may say, well, is this gonna burn? And the answer is no, I'm gonna show you why. Let's go to practice mode. Watch this. 
because this hob cooks a lot faster. So imagine what a danger hob would do. Boom, plated burger. Another one, plated burger. And you see how this is awesome, right? Like, it's just endless. Now, you may also say to yourself, well, this isn't very practical because you have plates all the way over here. And you're, plate, you're serving everything over here. How is that going to work? Well, let me show you another way of how you could set this up to where it will work, of course. And this took some figuring out. Again, this is, a, this is for solo play. If you're not solo playing, the, the options are endless because you could have a sink here. Someone could run plates back. You could have more conveyor belts, etc., etc. But the way I have this set up for the next one is they're going to take the plates. The plates now have to come up here, right? Which isn't a big deal. The buns are going to come down here. All right, and the buns are gonna go, or the meat, the meat always has to go to the one that's going to the hob. You don't want the meat going to a combiner. Now, I suppose you could run a belt off of this to a combiner, but I don't really know why you would do that. There we go. And this is basically the same exact setup, but more in a practical, practical situation, which is something like this, right? Let's just practice this one. And I'm gonna show you why it's more practical in a sense, because, it's going to combine, right? So you serve it. You have your dirty dish, right? You come over here. Like I, don't, I won't have a bin, so I can't do it. You'd wash it, put it right back on the stand, and there you go. Now, to move this up to the next level is if you'd have a smart grabber here pulling dirty plates off onto this. You could even have some sort of setup where you have, a not a dish rack, but you could have a belt going from the sink right to this depending on what you have in between. Like if you put a conveyor belt, you know, let's demonstrate it here. If you put a conveyor belt here, just a regular conveyor belt or a regular grabber, something like this. Now I can't demonstrate this completely because they're not dirty dishes, but I'll show you what we can do with the practice mode that we have. There we go, watch this. Okay, we're gonna simulate, okay, this, this plate's been washed, right? Smart grabber, boom. Boom, there you go. And then you got your thing right away. So you could lay regular conveyor belts out. You need a smart grabber here, obviously, but you could do it so you're only running a few plates. Say you're having a, a huge, you know, one by one run and you just want to run, you just want to use two plates. Well, guess what? Just wash the plate. It'll suck it back to here. Boom, new plate, new plate, new plate. And you don't have to mess with using the whole plate stack. Save space. Like, cause this would be one of these two would be a smart grabber, right? It would save space. And that's exactly how you would set this up. Now, there are also other ways you can do this. But for burgers, this is the best way. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully this helped you. This is like a full burger run. I don't need to show you back because I showed you how you did that. Anyway, this is how you do automated burgers, 100% automation. A bit of a tutorial. This isn't a, a real game setting. This is in practice mode. So you have to save up to get, you need three grabbers. You'll need a hob of some sort. It doesn't matter which. And you need two combiners. So it's basically three, two, and one. And you have automated burgers. And you can design this anyway, however you want to set these. You want to set these up like this and put the bun down here. Like it, it doesn't matter. You could put it like that. It doesn't matter how you want to set it up. But that's how you do automatic burgers, 100% automation. And it's actually not that hard. I got three of these combiners. Two of them I got just from laying on the ground, and one of them I got from a blueprint desk. And then the belts, obviously, you get them as you get them. So there's your three here plus one. So I had to wait. This one's irrelevant. But these three, so that's three. So, I mean, once you get to day six, eight, nine, you could easily have these 100% automated. And that's the way that I'm going to be doing burgers until something else comes out that's better. But what's better than a combiner? Just imagine the possibilities of combining making with pies or doing, I don't even know what, I, I don't wanna give too much away, fish, 100% for fish. Say crab cake. Say you have your eggs up here being cut with a mixer. You have your flour here. Over there, you have your crab being cut up by a mixer. Guess what? You've auto crab cakes, 100% automated crab cakes because of the combiners. This is going to be a game changer with this game. 
and I cannot wait to do full runs for you guys to show you exactly how these are going to play out in a full game. But in the meantime, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Stay tuned for much more amazing new content, new cards, new boots, new outfits, new everything for Played Up 0.18. Thanks for watching.